ancient Aramaic wisdom keeper Dale Allen Hoffman here. So what does it mean to love your neighbor? Love your neighbor. Ah, there was a little bit of a miscommunication in translation of some ancient Aramaic manuscripts back in the 70s in the Kuboras. Archdeacon Saduk Damar Shamun was overseeing those and he sort of came sort of against the wall with some of the other translators and they're like, wait, of course, neighbor is anybody close to you in proximity. They're right next to you. And Saduk, you know, was like, wait a second here. Uh, that's the new dictionaries you're looking at that are from the sixth century. We need to go back to the ones from the second and first centuries of what things used to mean in Aramaic before that invasion. And it's, wait a second, what does it actually mean? Neighbor meant anyone you think of, including yourself. Even more specifically, it meant any object of your attention. So neighbor included the plants and the water and the animals and the ecology of the earth. That's something that's very often excluded in, I'm just gonna be blunt, modern day Christianity. It's excluded a lot. But when you realize, and of course looking at love your neighbor as yourself, I have another video out there about what soul means, and that word soul is the word self, which is nafsha, which means literally breath of life in Aramaic. So love any object of your attention as the breath of your life. What do you lock your breath down in the presence of, and or what do you open with? Who are those that you embrace with the open rise and fall of the breath? Wow, imagine that you're out in the water and someone dunks your head under. How bad do you want to take that breath? Well, that's how much we should be loving the earth and the plants and the air and the waters and our brothers and sisters and trans and gay and everything else that they want to pansexual, any labels they want to put on themselves. Don't you ever tell me you're a Christian and yet you're somehow cutting off the love of the eternal because other people have been manifested as something that you can't comprehend and understand. You know what you're really telling me? You're not a Christian. You're not anything of that sort until you wake up and learn how to love as Christ would have loved, which is with all of his heart, mind, soul, and hyla, willingness, life, strength, and love any object of his attention as the breath of his life. If you're not doing that, you're not doing anything. So if you loved this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you absolutely hated it, please give me a thumbs down and subscribe to my channel. It's enough for me just to know that I rattled your precious cage, but I say that in the deepest knowing of love. It's what I needed for myself. I needed somebody else to rattle my cage first. If you don't believe what I'm saying, please do the research off the path of seminary, off the path of what the church offers. You'll find out, guess what? This is for real. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. See you next time.